first of all, um, for those of you who are not doing anything on Saturday, come and listen to me sing in French at the Corn Exchange. <laughs> no, seriously, come and listen to me sing in French at the Corn Exchange. Actually, it's me and a group of four singing for the Union of Sound. Uh, sorry, the, um, We Are Sound, which is the successor to the Dowsing Sounds Collective, raising money for the DeSoco Foundation. Um, and two years ago, we had a little riot in the Guildhall, didn't we? Sarah, so, uh, it was wonderful. Um, in terms of, if I can call it really, really long-term future, given the way the city is expanding um, in terms of just building in numbers, one of the things that has been mentioned quite a lot, not least by myself, is the possibility of acquiring a site for a concert or conferencing venue for a capacity of over 2,000 people. I found your site. It's basically the Cambridge Assessment's offices opposite the Catholic Church, the Old Perth School. Given that Cambridge Assessment are due to move out in the next few years, wouldn't it be wonderful if between Cambridge University and its colleges and the Cambridge Life Trust, you could get together to acquire that site that has a footprint three times the size of the current Corn Exchange and to have that as your new concert venue. Given that it's so close to Drummer Street bus station, it's on the guided bus routes, it's a short walking distance from the railway stations, you've got two hotels by it, and you've got the Queen Anne car park, city centre car park, and the Grafton centre car park, all there. Secondly, and I think I discussed this with Deputy Mayor Holland um, just now, the idea of, in terms of improving the existing facilities, such as in the Guilds Hall and the Corn Exchange itself, when the House of Commons was bombed during the Second World War, they invited donations from various dominions and colonies and countries to help repay for bits of it, such as you know, the dispatch box, the speaker's chair. And I'm wondering whether we could do something similar in terms of improving the Corn Exchange sound system, in particular the Guildhall sound systems, by encouraging people, civic-minded citizens and businesses, to help contribute towards different aspects of the improvement. Sarah, um, Well, actually, I think we obviously need to invite you to join any fundraising committee we set up in the first instance, certainly. Um, the buildings still belong to the City Council, although obviously we use them and we're very grateful for that use. So any long-term planning with regards to the buildings would have to be done in consultation with them. Um, with regards to the Cambridge Assessment site, um, you're talking about a massive project there. I think it's absolutely right that the city has much greater aspirations than, than it does at the moment. Um, it's not something that we had prioritised in our first five years of existence because obviously that's a huge project to undertake, but that doesn't mean to say that we don't respond when opportunities come along. Many of you may well know that um, we have um, taken over the Illuminate Festival um, for next year. Um, they had done a tremendous, amazing job in the first four years of their festival, but in really in order to move to the next stage they needed greater help, marketing help and infrastructure. And so Alessandra, their artistic director, has joined our team and I hope you're going to find in February next year that that's been a really great investment for the city, certainly. So. We are up for big challenges. I can't possibly give you an answer this evening about where yes, that might go, um, but we're always um, open to interesting offers, certainly. But the second question is, is, is also interesting, though. The, this January marks, or I think it's actually a date in February, marks the 30th anniversary of the Corn Exchange mm -hmm. refurb, so that was when it was changed from being just an empty shell into being a constant. And clearly, 30 years is actually a very long time. So it, it's the, you know, no one would deny that it needs doing again, um, and what that might look like is is open to debate. But we we have definitely have that on our radar. But again, it's likely to be a, at least a sort of a five-year leading time to that. Yeah, I'd like to support uh, your suggestion for a concert hall, and I th thank you very much for your presentation, which is very interesting. <coughs> but you spoke about having a strategy, and yes, you didn't mention the strategy for a new venue, because I think anybody who has got any ears at all must realise that the acoustic and the chord exchange is absolutely appalling. When was the last time you were there? 
Well, we went there for the concert series, the International Concert Series. When was that? About 19 years ago. Can you help me pass it? We were, well, we were so disappointed and so horrified at the acoustic that we just never, you know, we now go to London or Birmingham or somewhere, you know, that it's a decent concert. It's kind of disappointing that you haven't been back since, actually. I'm not that it would have changed the nature of the building, but it, it's, it is disappointing. Well, I, we're very disappointed as well. And I would say that, um, you know, for instance, I noticed that the, Bar the Bergen Philharmonic is going to Southman Hall with Edward Gardner. Um, and I, I, I'm very surprised if you can attract good orchestras to the Corn Exchange. So, um, you know, I wish you were a success in trying to find a, a good venue, a proper concert venue. I mean, I can't imagine what an hour symphony would sound like in the Corn in the Exchange. I just, or I mean, West Road is another possibility, but that's too small. So, um, just. Well, I, think, I think the answer to the question is that Cambridge Live was set up by the council to run the council's facilities, and, and clearly we have ambition and aspiration uh, in all sorts of areas artistically, culturally, uh, and certainly uh, you know, education and community. Um, we're only 18 months, just, just over 20 months old. Um, I think to, to ask us to to uh, deal with the, the, the issue that clearly you have, and many other people have been struggling with for 19 years, I think is perhaps uh, a, a little ambitious. Um, as I said, there's, a, there's an issue in terms of refurbing the corn exchange that, that needs to be resolved uh, as a matter of you know, relative urgency, so you know, within the next five to ten years. Thank you. Can we have